Nuclear Energy and Energy Policy at Greenpeace and the World Information Service on Energy. He joins me now via Skype from Amsterdam. Thanks so much for speaking to us. You know, we just heard uh, from the plant's director there that there's no negative impact on the environment here. Environment here. Still, you think it's a bad idea. Why? It's definitely a bad idea because we all know that nuclear power stations also can go wrong. And um, if that goes wrong in the Arctic, it will be extremely difficult to take measures to abate the consequences. The Arctic is a very harsh environment and uh, an accident there would be would be a catastrophe uh, that would be very difficult to, to counter. Okay, but to be honest, there really are no truly safe alternatives to nuclear power that can kind of deliver the, the volume that nuclear can. So should people in those remote areas go without electricity? No, that is, that is absolutely not true. There are alternatives to it. Um, wind energy, for instance, for the Kukotka area is not only feasible, it's also a lot cheaper than, uh, than the use of nuclear power. Um, and combined that with, uh, with biomass can definitely, uh, can definitely do the job. It is not necessary to take nuclear power. This, this nuclear power station is rather a test for Russia to bring in a whole fleet of nuclear power stations in order to power their uh, fossil fuel exploration and exploitation. They want to get more oil and gas and coal out of the ground in the Arctic region. Now the ice is, is retracting because of climate change and that in itself will uh, make climate change even worse. So for us, this is a double problem. Bringing in nuclear risk into the Arctic is a bad idea and doing that to, uh, yeah, to burn more oil and coal is an even worse idea. You know, though, for all your warnings, I mean, this type of experimentation and exploration and exploitation is likely to continue. I mean, Russia's competing with, with other nations for resources and, and commercial opportunities. So is there anything organizations like yours can do to, to stop this? We, the, what we are doing is we're informing not only in Russia, also in the countries around, about the risks. We see now that the countries around the Arctic are very critical about what is happening there and are keeping an eye on it. Um, within Russia, we see slowly also a shift. We see that even the uh, company Rosatom is now seriously looking at renewables that can do that much faster. One of the things that we are doing is we're motivating them to go faster, and we hope that they also will go faster in this case and look at alternatives for, uh, for this extra risk. Jan Haverkamp joining us there from Amsterdam. Thanks so much for that.